Ingleside. Hey, I'm Kevin Ashenback. Uh, we're out here at Zaka Station for the launch of the all-new 2013 CRF450R. As you look at the bike, you can see it's, it's all new. It's designed uh, from the ground up, total package. We've got a lot of new uh, innovations and features on the bike, so uh, I'm going to take you through those changes. Starting with the fork, you can see it's a KYB PSF or pneumatic spring fork, so it's an air fork in the front. Gets rid of the springs for about two pounds lighter uh, weight savings right out of the front. Uh, it's great for tunability. You're able to take it to the track. And the simple bicycle pump starts at about 33 psi. Put a little bit more air pressure in it for rougher tracks, downhills, something like that, where it starts getting uh, a lot of braking bumps. You want the front to ride a little higher, or if the track starts drying out at the end of the day, you want it to uh, be a little more supple, a little more plush. Take a little bit of air out. It won't deflect off bumps or anything like that. All around, just uh, you know, amazing new technology. Uh, another part of the, the chassis package, or the package of the whole bike, is the new chassis. Uh, it's you know, we've taken kind of what we've learned from the 2000, uh, 2002 through, through 2012 CRFs and applied that technology and made some changes for now for 2013. And uh, I think you can see just looking at the bike from the side, you can see the frame spar where it intersects with the head tube. That's quite a bit lower. It intersects kind of at the middle of the head tube. Um, the rear frame spar kind of intersects at the rear shock mount, a little bit lower, about 14 and a half millimeters lower. And a lot of that aim is kind of to keep the uh, the mass low on the bike, and it's also to kind of tune the uh, rigidity of the chassis. And you know, I kind of talked about the fork taking some weight off the front. We also pulled some weight off the back. We went to a dual muffler system, and it really tucks the mufflers in. I think you'll see that. You know, taking two pounds of weight off the front, taking some weight off the rear by tucking it in is, uh, you know, we've really done some mass centralization and moved some weight towards the middle of the bike. Another big change is uh, to the motor. You know, it may look the same on the outside, the proven Unicam design and architecture is still there, but we made a host of improvements to the uh, internals of the bike. One of those changes is a, a higher compression piston. We raised the compression from 12 to 12.5.1. And what that's going to do is give you a little bit more power right off the bottom in the mid and uh, just give you a little bit more response, more hit. We've also tuned the FI uh, ignition and fuel mapping, kind of work with all those new changes to the motor, the piston, uh, some of those changes there, the mapping, the uh, air boot as it brings air into the motor, the cylinder head has new porting, bigger diameter uh, exhaust valves, and then the dual pipes, you're kind of able to flow more air into the motor, more air out and make power all while keeping the sound low. A uh, couple more things that we did for 2013. Uh, you can see the styling of the bike. It's got a bold new kind of minimal plastics, maximum ergonomics look and feel to it. You know, we pride ourselves on having really good ergonomics and uh, you know, comfort for a broad range of riders. We want to make sure the bike fits a, gr a lot of people and so our engineers and testing really paid attention to making sure that all that stuff fits. Go to uh, our website at hondapowersports.com and uh, see all those specs. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that you know for 2013 we're we're really aiming at bringing this bike out at the same SRP as 2012. So you know it's, I think it's pretty impressive and shows that our engineers did a lot of hard work and came up with a lot of stuff for an all new bike for the same SRP as last year at 8440. So check it out. They should be in dealerships uh, around September. Hi, this is Mark Tilly from Dirt Bike Magazine. Today, Honda brought us out to uh, Zaka Station to ride the 2013 version of the CRF450R. Um, first seeing the bike on first impression, it's completely brand new from the ground up. Starting in the front with the new air forks, uh, adjustability is supposed to be pretty insane on those. Uh, working back to it's got a bigger, bigger gas tank, um, a completely brand new redesigned frame and, and subframe um, junction, uh, updates to the motor, 
that are making it a little bit easier to ride with more durability. Then you have you get get in, get to the back of the bike and you, you can definitely tell the differences in the bike. It's it's got dual exhaust, uh, diamond shape uh, mufflers, all redesigned swing arm. So the bike is is brand new, um, and you know we got to throw a leg over it today. Got to ride it for for most of the day, and it's a completely different motorcycle. It doesn't have a lot of the tendencies of of knifing in the front end that the the 12 version did. Um, it's got a lot of tendencies that the the older bikes like the the 07, 08 Hondas had. You got great stability coming in in, in and out of corners. The motor's really friendly. It's got a nice uh, nice broad power band to it. When we were riding the bike, we, we did a little suspension testing. Um, we actually, for what they were describing to us, two pounds of pressure equals up or two pounds of pressure up or down equals a spring rate. So you're either going up or down on a spring rate. So we kind of put it to the test. The bike we, we felt was diving a little bit in the beginning, uh, going down too far in the stroke. So we put two pounds of pressure in it and it definitely right off the bat, you could tell that, they, that there was some, some changes to it. So we decided, ah, you know, two pounds is good. Let's go two more and see what happens. And we went two more pounds of pressure up and, and it made it too stiff for us. So, you know, the, the adjustability on the forks, you know, major adjustability at the track with, with a bicycle pump, basically. So yeah, the, the motor's really broad and easy to use, uh, makes great power. Can't wait till we have a full-time test bike to where we can do a little bit more testing on it. But first impression of the bike, the bike is, is definitely good and uh, looking forward to doing more, more with it.